everybody, welcome to Trees' World. This video is called Love Hedgehogs and I do love hedgehogs. If you're new to my channel then check out two videos, End of Summer and Help Our Hedgehogs and so then you'll see that this kind of follows on from those two videos. So since the hedgehog video, Help the Hedgehogs, do check it out, I decided that I didn't want the hedgehogs on the patio, especially in the summer. So now, and I'm going to walk up the stepping stones. There we go, can I, can I do this? Do, do, do. I have to do this having slaved over them last weekend in that heat. I have to show you, there we go. So now I'm going to show you where the hedgehog houses are situated. And they are here under this tree. And I think it's just a perfect location for them. Um, and I think they think it's a perfect location as well, because look at this. I actually managed to capture some footage of a hedgehog um, eating his food, having a drink, um, going in the little house. Oh my God, it was amazing. And I thought, brilliant. <laughs> I was just really pleased to see him there. I couldn't believe it. And, and he came, came out when it was light enough to film him. So um, that was a bonus. With regard to the water for your hedgehogs, just plain water in those bowls. No need to add sugar. No need to add anything else. Some people were saying about sugar and salt in the water. No, 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 no. Plain water in the bowls and a handful of food. Um, I use Spike's Hedgehog food, um, but there are other makes that you can use, but don't feed them mealworms. I keep saying this every time, don't feed hedgehogs mealworms. It gives them bone disease. Right, I'm now sat here by the pond and I wanna ask people, why haven't I got frogs? I'm really disappointed that there wasn't any frog spawn this year. So I thought, well, I may as well put some fish in there then. So that's what I've done. I've got six little fish. Um, I'm hoping um, that'll kind of dwindle down to three because I don't really want six, that's too many. And I'm hoping they stay about, I don't know, about that big? I don't want them huge. About that, that big? That'll be fine. Go on, there you go, freedom. Yeah, go on. Let's go back in now. Go on, gently does it. Ah, oh, into the pond. There we go. And you. There's the next one. Go on. I think I'm just going to tip them out, everybody. I am. There we go. There they go. Oh. Come on. And there's the last one. Never to be seen again. 
Oh my God, I, I, I expect one of the jackdaws will eat them. I wouldn't be surprised because they'll have anything, won't they? And they have a bath in this pond. So I hope these fish are not doomed, everybody. I have bought barley straw, a sausage of it. And that is going to be put into the pond as well to hopefully reduce the amount of blanket weed I get. So everyone, that's my um, hedgehog update and my pond update. Sadly, no baby hedgehogs. I was really hoping for baby hedgehogs this year, but maybe now the um, houses are located up there, out the way, and they get to know that it's a safe space, they might actually have babies next spring. You never know. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Let's hope the fish survive. <laughs> anyway, um, see you on my next video. Um, Trees' world. I had to think then. What's my next video going to be about? Mm. <laughs> Trees' world. Have a great video. Have a great. Have a great weekend. Oh, I can't talk today. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>